Turn on bathroom light. Ugh. Ugh. Something's gonna have to be done about this. Well, I do that. Welcome to Vision All Access. Hey guys, welcome to Vision All Access, and I know this is not my typical video, but uh, just bear with me. So the world is in a little bit of dire straits right now with the outbreak of this uh, virus called COVID-19, or the coronavirus as it's more commonly known. People are getting sick, some people have recovered, some people not so much. So um, we are bringing asses as of people to practice social distancing, so basically, uh, people in your household, they're okay to be around because you live in the same house, but when you're outdoors, you really need to keep your distance away from people, avoid social gatherings, and try and stay safe so you're not catching this. Now in this time of social distancing, it can be a little bit hard with us spending so much time in close quarters and might not be able to do the things that we would normally do when we have so much, as we call it, free time. But never fear, Vision All Access is here to help with five ways that you can beat the isolation. Now the first one is probably the most easiest. I know a lot of people are probably doing this, but it's time to dust off those gaming consoles. So whether you're part of the PC Master Race, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, 3DS, you name it. Now I'm a PS Plus subscriber, and if you don't know what that is, where the heck have you been? I'm uh, playing through the Nathan Drake collection. So I got the first three Uncharted games um, through PS Plus, paid absolutely nothing for them, so that was a huge win. One of the games that my girls and I love to play is the Call of Duty series. We go in and we play some just local matches, nothing too, too uh, intense, get a couple bots in there, and I don't know if this is something to worry about, but my daughter seemed to enjoy shooting at me, so. But as you can clearly see, Dad's still got the edge. The second way on the list to beat the isolation is actually technically doing the exact opposite. Going out for a nice walk. Ooh. <laughs> Hear me out. Social distancing does not mean keep yourself in your house. Yes, if you're sick or if your immune system is compromised or worse yet, should you happen to have the virus, don't go outside. Avoid all contact with people if possible. But if you're not, like me and my family, we're actually lucky enough to be healthy. So we've taken these times to, you know, my wife has taken the kids to go on a walk. Even just today, I took one of my daughters as well as our dog Maverick. And we actually just went out to this nice open field that we have and uh, just played with them. So gave us a nice time out there in the sun. It was a beautiful day and just brought my Bluetooth speaker, played some tunes and yeah, had a blast. So number three on the list is honestly, Spend some time with your family. Right now, this is kind of the silver lining. I get to spend some much needed time with my family and you know, playing games, uh, card games is a great way. So one of the great games that me and my family like playing is Exploding Kittens. It's really kind of messed up. Don't worry, no kittens were actually harmed in the making of this game, I'm pretty sure. But my personal favorite game is this card game called Phase 10. So next time you're out and getting some groceries, you know, because you have to to survive. Um, see if they have a copy of Phase 10, bring it home. Really fun game, uh, good way of play, and not too complicated, even the kids can learn. So in this time of social distancing and isolation, this is actually a perfect time to catch up on a show that maybe you've been neglecting for a bit, or the actual topic of this one, which is start a new show. There's a couple of nice streaming services out there. We're all aware of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, as well as also Amazon Prime, just to name a few up here in Canada. Maybe just try out something new. It's a perfect opportunity to, you know, take your mind off everything that's happening, you know, be content for an hour or two, and just Netflix and chill. Last but not least, this one's kind of easy for me. And one of the reasons I actually did this video and that's number five, get creative. Whether that be doing YouTube videos, drawing, coloring, both my daughters are handling this social distancing fairly well. I know my oldest one gets uh, on uh, FaceTime with her friends. 
are on a call and then she just goes on Minecraft and you know they build worlds together, interact. And my youngest one, she's all about Roblox. So she goes on there, does voice chat on her iPad and yeah, it's just a great old time. So there are things to do and this is a perfect time to get creative or even take up a new hobby, something that you might not have been interested in but always thought you never had the time. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up another episode of Vision All Access and let me know down in the comments, what are you guys doing to beat the isolation? Message me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Those are my usual ones. I'm trying to post on there a little bit more. Kind of goes back to that whole number five, get creative. Don't forget the safety measures that the governments are you know, imposing upon us and asking us to do. We can do our part. Wash your hands, 20 seconds. Every so often, hand sanitizer will do in a pinch. Practice the social distancing. Try to keep at least six feet apart from each other whenever possible. Back up. Stay right there. Shopping only when necessary. Utilize online services if you can. These are all things that we can do to help prevent the spread of this virus, get things back to normal, get people healthy again, and get back to what we love doing most, which is living life. So thanks for joining me on Vision All Access. You guys, stay home, stay safe.